All right, all right. Vladimir, you know what happens when a person is frightened? Hmm? Do you know what happens? He pulls back, he shrinks, comes together like this. You start the concerto frightened, and everything happens that destroys the, the, the sound, destroys the, the sense of beauty of the opening when you, when you start. That's what it sounded like. You have to expand right from the start. You have to loosen up, loosen up your whole body. And, and the first note, with the whole bow, try the opening again. That's better. Again, the opening. I want to hear the, the rise of the phrase, right? No, no. It says nothing. And sing. Sing on the A. Sing, sing more on that. Yes, that's, that's a good beginning. Now, I want to hear it again. That's so much better, so much better. See, I need this, I need to expand. And you shrank. You got smaller and smaller on because you were worried about the opening and the intonation. You it's too small. It's a concerto. You're there to show how well you can play. You know, if you can. Don't drop the sound so much. See, there's one phrase. That's one rounded phrase. It's not. Drop so. If you're going to make a diminuendo, don't do it on one note, so you lose the end of the phrase. It's not. See how the diminuendo is divided between the three notes, not just. Good. And, um, lift your fingers, I like more. All right, you hear the clarity? You see, the moment you lift your fingers a little bit higher, then you have clarity. It's clear. Lift your fingers higher. I do, I retake the bow. Yes, otherwise it's... Good. When you start... The first note, not... 
with the bow. And I want to continue the phrase. I don't play. I don't want that. I want. That's the end of your phrase. Now, I want you to do at the end of the bow a little bit of pull. It helps you get up to the new note. Bravo! Now, now get more center. This is too flippant, too, too light. More, more bow in the string. In the string. 